Hey guys, it's Nicolas with Delray again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to basically invite you to join me on opening my new Oculus Quest. As many of you know, I love virtual reality, augmented reality, and I do a lot of development. So I'm really excited to get going with development on this device. And the difference between this one and the Oculus Go and also the Oculus Rift specifically with the Oculus Go is that Oculus Go is very basically low specs. So it's more of a mobile version of VR where the Oculus Rift you need like a high-end computer, a very powerful computer to be able to run VR. And, and there is the Oculus Quest where you really don't need a high-end computer. It's completely mobile. Everything that you need in order to play games is in this box. And this one in particular is 64 gigs. I wanted to get it through Amazon and I tried to order it through Amazon, but Amazon was out of stock. So there were some people in Twitter that were kind enough to tell me to order it through Oculus. And when I ordered it through Oculus, they told me that it was gonna take about a week. And luckily it only took two days and I got it delivered to my house. So I'm pretty, pretty excited to get this open. So let's go ahead and, and get it open. So let me see how we can no cast too much damage to this box because I really like to keep things as as nice as possible. There we go. And there we go. So let's just open it through through the side here. And there you go. All right. I think that, and I'm gonna put this away so that I don't get caught. So just put it on the side, and we'll just get the paper out here. This is like Christmas time, right? You open something that you love and it just it just feels great. So let's see. So we have, let's see what kind of a box this is. And it just feels a little, yeah, it just feels really, really cool, really professional. Oh, it looks like it slides. So let me make sure that I am sliding this on the right direction. There we go. I'm just gonna get it a slide. And let me go ahead and put this down. We go just put this here and if you notice we have the professional it looks really beautiful it's really well packaged I really like the you know seeing the logo on the on the box and let me just turn around there's really no other marks or logos anywhere else so Oculus keeps everything very minimalistic this just reminds me of the case that comes with that you can buy as an accessory for your Oculus and then this thing just we're just gonna put it aside just you know just keep in mind that this was the outside of the box and then let's just get it open and let me see it just smells really really good and we'll just put it right here so you can see that you know it has basically some protection so that you don't damage it so I'm just gonna gonna put it down because I don't have a lot of space in this in this table so let me see what we have in here so we have the the oculus quest so here's the headset it just feels this feels really stiff i i really like what i'm seeing and then also we have you know a little a little plastic or a little paper that is basically protect, protecting the lenses and it says before you start install the oculus app and we know that if you have done or play with virtual reality is that before you get anything going you need to get the app going because that's how you communicate with the with the device so i'm just going to get it out and we can see there we go just put it down here and then you can see the lenses and, and it's really cool because they also have protections on the lenses it says no liquid cleaners and no sunlight so i was reading about it and, and, and even though this is mobile we, you gotta be very careful where, you know, make sure that the sun doesn't hit it. Don't take it to the beach. Don't take it outside when it's sunny. Make sure that you protect those lenses because they can damage pretty easily. So I'm just gonna get those stickers out. So there's just one sticker here. And then here's the other sticker. And I'll just show it to you. And this just feels really, 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 really strong. We have some Velcro, looks like on the top right there. We have some Velcro also on the side to adjust it. So, and let me, some Velcro on this side as well. Looks like we have some earphone jacks on this side. And then the volume, 
is basically right here. And there we go. And we also have a lot of cameras. So there's like tracking cameras, one on the top, one on the top right, and then two on the bottom as well. So this looks really, really cool. And let's see, and there's also some, oh, there we go. So if you want to adjust the lenses, looks like you have a little handle on the bottom that you can use to adjust it depending on, you know, your, your eyes, of course. And then let's see, I can also adjust the volume. So, and looks like we have a USB-C connector in here if we want to charge them. And also a little warning that says to reduce the disc on personal injury, discomfort, property damage, real all the health and safety warnings. So we'll, we'll take a look at some of the warnings. We won't read it all, but we'll look and see what comes with that. So I really like it, it looks really, really cool. Let me just show it to you because I think, you know, before you buy it, before you get it, I think it's great if you take a look at how this looks. So I was gonna put it right here so that you can see. And then we also have the controls. They are a little bit different than the Rift, and but they feel, well, they feel really, really comfortable where you can kind of see how you have a couple of triggers on the, back, on the back and then a few buttons, the B, the A, the Y, and X, and also a little analog stick on the, on the control. I like how the logo looks on the control, so I think Oculus does an amazing job by keeping everything really professional. It also is also labeled, so you can see this is the right controller. This one is the left controller, and it has stickers on it. And you also have a little wrap in here so that you don't lose it. You can put it around your, basically your hands, so that when you're playing, you don't they don't fall. So this looks really really great. So let's just put them aside here, so you can see them. And then let's see what else we have in here. So as far as the box, I mean, I want to show it to you and and basically an empty box. It has some padding on here so that it protects it. So you can kind of see that. There we go. And I think we're good with this box. I'm just gonna put it right over here so you can kind of see that. And we have this little box in here which looks like is all the accessories for the Oculus Quest. And it also has the logo on the top and also the branding on the side. There we go. So let's go ahead and get it open. Let me make sure that I don't drop it. Okay, there we go. And let's see what's inside. So we have our, basically our power, also a USB-C, has a USB-C connector there. And here's, this is for the, if you're, you know, if you're wearing glasses and you need some separations, this is what this is for. This is really, really great. It looks like it's really high quality. And I'll just show it to you as well. Just gonna put it on the side here. And then we have some cables. So here's the USB-C cables. Let me just go ahead, go ahead and get it out. So it has a little bit of a little mark here. It's a white mark. So I'm just gonna take that out. There we go. And I'll just get it open so that we can see how long this is. It looks like it's really long to be honest. I'm, I'm really impressed with how long this is. And I'll just drop it down. There we go. And then let's go ahead and open the other one. And of course, when you're playing with VR, you, you don't want to have it connected. I mean, you could have it connected, but the, what, the whole reason of getting this remote VR headset is so that you are completely wireless. But if you want to get it connected and you really need to play, then here is a really long cable that you can use to do that. So what I want to see is where you actually connect this, which seems to be on this side, and it's probably on this end. Looks like this looks like an L. So my guess is that's going to go in there, and looks like it fits perfectly there. And then the other side, it's going to go to the little power adapter. So that's what this guy is. We we'll just put it down here. Let's see what else we have. So it looks like we have also batteries. Awesome, and they just drop out. So we have two batteries for the controllers, which is awesome. So I don't have to go into the dollar store and get batteries that don't last me even, also even a day because they're not really good. And then we also have some manuals. So it looks like this one is the reference guy. So you can see the reference guy there. And then there's some safety manual and basically website on the back. And then also the Oculus Quest safety warranty manual which we're definitely not gonna go through this. This is just pretty long, but 
you can you can in your own time if you need to Spe specifically if you have younger kids make sure that you read the manual before you have young younger kids playing playing with your vr and okay so this is this is great i think i have everything that i need let me look at this reference guide pretty quick and see what we have in here so this is basically walks you through the the whole setup so here's the oculus quest setup it tells you that you have to download the application and then it basically tells us all the different parts of the headset what the top strap is the side strap is where the power is the volume and so on also the velcro is specified in this manual and the glasses spacer that's what this is called glasses a spacer and it is for glasses like i was telling you and we also have a little warning in here it's actually a big warning of not making sure that you're protecting those lenses against the sunlight so this is great i think i i think i'm gonna just start playing with this and then showing you a little bit more about it so i'm gonna get it connected play with it a little bit more and then like i said i'm a unity developer i'm a game developer so i'm gonna start making games with this and start making some prototypes so i'm really excited about it guys thank you very much